All right, here we are, the Corvair engine mated to a Subaru five-speed transmission. This can be either a turbocharged trans transaxle or a non-turbocharged transaxle. As you can barely see, it's such a tight and small area. There's a crown Corvair to Volkswagen adapter. Then the large silver plate is the Volkswagen to Subaru adapter. This is all off-the-shelf items. Nothing was custom fabricated to this point. Then just a standard Subaru five-speed transmission. Now, in use in a Corvair, because there would be no four-wheel drive, that silver housing on the back comes off, and the first black section you see gets cut in half and welded up, or you can buy a custom cast cover for it, and the shifter comes out of that. It makes the overall thing 25 inches, possibly even only 24, depending on where you uh, measure from. All righty. Then we get over to the business side. The Corvair engine is clockwise rotation versus counterclockwise. Uh, Subaru Gears has stated that the transmissions, when applied with 200 foot-pounds of torque or less, have no problem turning in either direction, no longevity problems or anything. Supposedly several, if not many, have been run. Then, of course, we get down to how are we going to start this thing? Well, turns out that Honda, with their counterclockwise engines, needed a clockwise starter as well, and... Here we go, 98-99 Honda Prelude, clockwise nine tooth, and a nice little adapter plate. That's a white piece of material, so it's easy to see. That's all it is. Three quarters of an inch thick, a little an inch block to begin with, and very simple to machine and make up. Take any machine shop uh, should be less than two hours, if not an hour. Okay, now this engine was prior, has been used to, to install a turbocharger, and that's why the factory sheet metal is gone at the end. Uh, there's plenty of clearance there, maybe a little trimming, and back to this side, plenty of clearance here, maybe a little trimming on the inside edge. All right, now, will it start?